Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously I've talked to you how to make a pattern. Today I'm going to show you how to cut the fabric, put it together and fit it using the pattern we made previously. Don't need to measure like just leave the average of half an inch distance between the blade and the markings you've made and you should be good is even too much you will see that you will need to take in quite a bit so as you can tell I've traced my major, my main structure into the fabric um, all of the lines, the construction lines, are going to be on the back. Spandex, there are several types, as I said already previously. Um, they don't really, most of them don't really have a right side or a wrong side. They are exactly the same in both, in or out. So you just have to choose one. Other times, they will have differences. So make sure, it doesn't have to be either one or the other, but just make sure always you use one side. Choose one and stick to it. Um, it's much easier sometimes they have a very shiny side um, It's much easier to then determine which one is the right or wrong for you When in, in that case, I prefer to use the shiny side as the wrong side But sometimes designs require to have the shiny side on the right side Pinning is the same you have several ways of pinning. It's always but if you really know, like if you want to fit something, it's always easier if you place your pins perpendicular to your stitching line. So once I've done that, I'm ready. To go on my machine. So as you can tell, I've placed the bodies on the form. I left the shoulder out to get in. So at the first glance, it looks like it fits quite well. Perhaps a little in, it depends really on the person. What I notice is, for example, it's slightly too big on the top. So when I pin this just for symmetry and here is the end result. Next time I'm going to show you how to do the outer shell and how to combine it with the leotard. 